all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakadash. Now, when you look at our community coming out of the projects in the uh, low income housing areas all across America, the, the so called black women they don't have no idea what kind of lifestyle they're living because most of them is raised up in households with these women that uh, they don't they don't stay with a man they jump from man to man see when you got a community full of women jumping from man to man and when you look at the statistics of even when they go down to the courthouse and do it like the white man tell them to do it and get them a license and get them a a, a, a ring put on their finger and a wedding dress uh, 70 percent to 80 percent of the divorces come from the women so even when they so-called do it how they want to do it in their little mind and follow the society following the devil they still jump from man to man see they want they want this husband that's made for them they don't want to be made for their husband they want the husband to be made for them now when you go into the scriptures uh, Romans chapter 7 gives you the law see it gives you the law of God and a lot of people they'll run to these scriptures when they want to prove their point but see they won't they won't take the the counsel coming from the scripture because when you go into Romans 7 it clearly tells the woman how to conduct herself with these men um, let's see here chapter 7 verse 1 it say no ye not brethren for I speak to them that know the law okay so if you know the law you know how you supposed to conduct yourself see it say how that the law has dominion over a man as long as he live so when it's talking about a man it's talking about a man and a woman it's just using a man as the prime example but the next verse gonna go into the woman and say for the woman which have an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he live but if the husband be dead she is loose from the law of her husband so these women ain't waiting till these men die see they wait until they get in their little feelings and when they want it their way see and then they hit the road and jump from man to man see sperm to sperm and when you look at the condition of our community that is the underlying problem because when you go into the, the law see you say this is to the people who know the law because when you know the law you know the prime thing that you do not do when you go into Leviticus in the heart of the law Leviticus chapter 19 verse 20 it say do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore so when you are a woman you should be jumping from man to man because when you're doing that you're teaching your daughter because you're going to get pregnant jumping from man to man. You're not going to dodge the bullet every time. One of them times you're going to get pregnant when you're jumping from man to man. So when you're doing that, you get pregnant, now your daughter seeing you jump from man to man, and you causing her to be a whore, thinking that that's how you do it. If he don't follow your rules, if he don't agree with you, you run and hit the road you start an argument with him and you run and hit the road and say you can get you a better man see 
Because that's that be the underlying problem. You're not in there submitting yourself to that man, obeying that man. See, the Christianity that's created through the philosophy of the so-called white man who is the devil that the Bible speaks of, he telling these women that you can jump from man to man. He telling them if you're not married or uh, have a marriage license <coughs> and uh, went through some uh, wedding procedure, that this is not your husband. You just fornicating. See, you just committing a sin and you just need to ask God to forgive you and go to the next man and try to get him to go through that wedding procedure and go to the courthouse and get you a marriage license. That's what they're telling these women. So the women jump from man to man and this is what the next verse is, is showing you how our community is toe down. It say, let's the land. So now you're talking about the whole land. Everywhere that this is going on with these group of women, the land shall, uh, no, the land fall to whoredom. So the land is going to fall into whoredom. It's going to be whores everywhere. Because now there's no mothers teaching their daughters not to jump from man to man. And it say the land uh, become full of wickedness. So not, not only is they jumping from man to man, wickedness is going to prevail. Wickedness is going to be rampant in the land. Because there's no women that are conducting themselves in the right manner. Now when you go to the apocalypse, it tells you there's no wickedness like the wickedness of a woman. So now you got... The top person that 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 she would take wickedness to a whole nother level, and you have her running around with a group of other women, and they all prostituting themselves. And see, that's what you see in the in the in the picture. See, they coming from those projects, those bad neighborhoods, those ghettos. Those low income housing, those single parent housing, and those even married, so called married houses with a, a, a simple man in there, bowing to the woman. And a lot of the time, the, 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 the police and the, the government then uh, pretty much castrated the man where he can't uh, be a man in that house because he gonna cause major trouble with this woman that's going to the Christian church telling her if the man make you upset and hit the road a, ha a happy wife is a happy life keep her happy do what she want do what that's what that happy wife thing is all about do what she what do what's gonna make her happy so whatever she want to do is gonna make her happy if you don't do what she don't want to do that's not gonna make her happy so don't do what she don't want to do but see the man is made to run the house he was made to run the earth, the animals, the food, the crops. He was made to control everything. So you trying to tell him to follow the woman. Now let's go to uh, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 3, because it's another verse lets you know where the, 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 the wickedness come from and how wickedness is going to prevail in, in certain situations if you don't run this thing right okay chapter 3 Isaiah chapter 3 okay let's see here bear with me one second Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12 it say and as for my people children are their oppressors and women rule over them See, that's when you die, you dealing with the truth. See, this is how the Most High is, is punishing the men, first of all, because this is going along with the curses. Because once you take the wealth out of that household, where this man can uh, take care of his household, everything is going to fall. Because when you go into the apocrypha, 
it tells you that a woman is full of anger when she got to support her man. Not support her man, when she got to maintain her man. Well, he, he need the woman to uh, help him on a level where she, she got all the power. You see? Now, let's go to the curses. Wait a minute, 10. Let me go to the curses and end it on the curses because only in our community is is this thing happening. That, that proves that we are the Israelites that the Bible speak of. Um, Deuteron uh, Deuteronomy 28 verse 54 it says so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards his wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children which he shall leave why should he why is he going to leave his children verse 55 and get straight to the point because he have nothing left him in the siege and in the straightness wherewith your enemy shall distress you in all the gates. So the enemies came in and took the wealth. You can look at the history that the, in 1970, the enemy started setting up housing for these women and telling the men you cannot stay there. You have to go to the colleges and you stay homeless and go to college and try to uh, upgrade your job, but well, now you can get you a woman. But you, you, when these men doing that, they're not going to leave these women alone. They're going to be messing with the women and getting folks pregnant. Now they ain't got child support. Now they're trying to work to pay the child support, and they ain't got time to go to no school and upgrade their job so they can take care of these women. Then... Then they take all the, uh, they took all of the um, trade school, trade uh, school, jo um, the the skill, the skill jobs training that was in high school where they train you uh, to do certain skills like electrician, carpentry, um, painting, um, you know, maintenance. They teaching you all of this in high school. So when you get out of high school, you fully equipped to go out and get you a job and support you a family. See, they took that all out of high school and now the men, they graduate high school and they got to go get a job and then go to college to to get them a skill. See, they got to work for, uh, do petty end jobs, um, what, janitors, garbage truck, uh, sweeping up somebody's store, you know, taking out the, being a maintenance man, the, the custodian around a, a restaurant, washing dishes, uh, you know, being a prep cook, doing uh, labor jobs, working day labor. You ain't finna support no family with that, and you ain't finna be in no good situation where you can go to college. You can't afford to put support yourself with those jobs. So they understood, We the enemies understood that we gonna go in here and we gonna destroy this man. So now the woman gonna jump from man to man and the land gonna be full of whoredom and wickedness because that's what, that's, that's what they need is a man. When you go into, um, Timothy tells the, the women, the young women, to go get them a husband and, and manage a house. He don't tell them to stay single and do their own thing and get their education. See, it don't tell them none of that. It tells them to go get them a man and have some children. Let me let me let me read the verse before I'm, I'm gonna close out on that because these women thinking they got another purpose. 1 Timothy 5, 14. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak uh, reproachably. Now this was happening to our women in verse 15. For some are already turned aside after Satan. And see these four women right here, they done turned aside after Satan uh, running around here. Uh, hugging up on some men naked, hugging up on naked men, 
you see, full of whoredom. But I'm gonna leave it there. All praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem and Kakadash. Double honors to the elders pushing the true peace of the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.